Hey everyone, welcome back. This time we'll be using stat crunch to uh, get confidence intervals, this time using uh, T. Okay, so as a review, um, <clears throat> if they give us the population standard deviation or you see a little sigma, we'll be using a Z. But if you don't see either of those things, that means we'll be using a T. Okay, so <clears throat> for this one we have a summary. So we want to go into stat, T stats, one sample with summary. And we'll put in all of our information here. Okay, so my mean here is 3.64. My sample standard deviation is 0 0.46. <clears throat> and my sample size is 15. Okay, so since I'm doing a confidence interval, I want to make sure I check this box. And I want a 99% confidence interval, so I'll put that in as a decimal and click on Compute. Alright, so there's my lower limit and my upper limit. Okay. Now, what if I had data? Okay, well, let's do one with data. So here's my data here. Again, let's check to make sure that they don't give us the uh, population standard deviation or little sigma. I don't see that anywhere. That means we're doing a T. So I'll go ahead and copy this over to StatCrunch. Okay, and this time I want to go to Stat, T Stats, one sample with data, because I have data here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that column, and I'm doing a confidence interval. This time I want a 90% confidence interval, so I'll change that, convert it to a decimal, click on Compute. Okay, and again, there's my lower limit and my upper limit. Upper limit, there we go. <clears throat> okay, and really that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching again. Stay tuned for my next video.